Well, hello. Uh, today I'd like to give you my first impressions of a Geha 705. Uh, you've seen me review a couple of Geha pens before. This one definitely falls in the student category, but, you know, let's find out how it is. Alright, so this is my Geha 705A. Geha. Uh, I'm really struggling to make some of this sticker out, and... Noi, I mean, is I know is new, but like this is, you know, being a foreign language and automatic ink. Yeah, I, I can't make a lot of that out. It has a Geha logo on the finial, nothing on the other finial. I, I think the round ink windows are interesting, although as it turns out, they're superfluous. Like uh, a lot of Geha pens, it has this reserve tank. So, you know, you run out of ink and you press the button, which seems to be stuck. <laughs> oh, well. And uh, you, you get a little bit more ink out of the pen. And it's a cartridge converter pen, which with Geha means trouble. So I was reading recently. <laughs> I had to move the light so you could read the sticker and then it's off. Everything. Uh, I was reading recently that online pens have con cartridges that fit Geha pens. Well, it just so happens, I have one. I'm wondering if that's why I bought it, because I can't... There's not much about it that really appeals to me, so it could be. And I bet I was hoping there'd be a converter in it that fit, but check out the cartridge. It looks a lot like a Lamy cartridge. Let me grab a Lamy cartridge I happen to have over here because I set this up ahead of time. Very Lamy-esque. The Lamy is the black one, the online is the blue one. Now, uh, where it gets even more interesting, I think I just put the online one away. <laughs> I was kind of hoping the included converter would work and it does seem to be the same size as one end of this car uh, cartridge but not the other end so my hopes were already going so I have some vintage Geha cartridges since I usually use quink washable blue I thought I would go with a blue ink um, and if you check these out they have two ends on them. So let me put the rest of them back so before I lose one. Actually, I have an empty black cartridge. I could probably slip the Parker Quink washable blue in, but I'm feeling this need to use Geha ink in this pen. So I forgot if I showed you this already. Uh, the online cartridge is on the left. The Geha is on the right. Oh, not so much. Okay, so we'll put the online stuff together, and eventually I'll probably review that pen, but not high on my priority list. So, which end to put in the Gehan? Well, if you've watched, I did a, what, 715 or something, uh, you know, but let's just pretend you don't. So they've got instructions in German, English, <laughs> Special giant cartridges, that's funny. Uh, French. I'm guessing that's Dutch. It looks Dutch. And so if it's a Geha, we insert it like this. If it's anything else, we insert it like this. And when I look down inside... That's a big honking beast down there for it to fit onto. So, the only thing that has me concerned, if you can tell, the ink is very low in this because the uh, water has evaporated out. So I'm going to solve that by installing it upside down. Then I'm going to pull it out. So we punctured it. Now, We've got a syringe. We're going to take some, um, I'll admit, not distilled water, but reverse osmosis water. Uh, 
I didn't want to subject this poor pen to my small town's version of water. Okay, put a little too much water in it. So looking better. Shake it up a little. Let it saturate the feed for, for a minute or two while we sing a little song. And I'm, it's already down there. So very fast, which surprises me. Some cartridges, you, you start thinking you're going to be dead before they're full. There you get into the nib. So this is a Geha. Seven oh five. Oops, forgot the O. A. Now A, you you've seen it. Uh, if you ever watched my Lamy ABC review, the A is a vintage. Well, it's a student nib. Uh, I'm just quick looking up the correct German, uh, so I say it correctly. So bear with me. Anfänger. Uh, beginner nib. So they're they're a little bit. Uh, Tougher, a little more um, robust steel nibs for somebody who's not used to a fountain pen. Now, I don't, I'm not going to hand that Parker Dual Fold I just bought to just anybody. So, of course, this is vintage Geha blue ink. Uh, as far as flex, with a A nib, I'm not expecting a lot. I'm not disappointed. Uh, it, it's writing well enough. It's just uh, not really a flex nib. But it's not supposed to be. Wetness and flow. The people who talk about vintage uh, inks never talk about this one. That seems to be flowing just fine. Smear test. I'm hearing more feedback on the paper than maybe with uh, some pens. Eh, smeared, but not, you know, amazingly. Reverse writing. Probably an extra fine, but a very uh, smooth extra fine. And finally, the world famous Pierre Gustafson test. Which is certainly a stress test. But past that one with flying color, so I'm pretty pleased. So, again, definitely in the student category, like I said at the beginning, but a pretty nice pen. And I've been writing with it for a few days since then. It, it's kept pretty much the same writing characteristics, so that hasn't changed. Uh, there's a lot less ink in the cartridge now, so that's good. And uh, just on the whole, I'm still enjoying it. As far as the pocket test, make sure it's right side up here. Slips right in with no problem. So, yeah, I'm going to continue to use it. I need to remember when I empty it out that i got to save that cartridge um, because they're not making any more of them and uh, the converter thing doesn't work out. I did experiment a while back. I can't remember if I broadcast the experiment or not, but I did experiment with using uh, Lamy cartridges in Geha pens, and it was... Okay... <laughs> Uh, not amazing, in short. So, uh, yeah, got to make these Geha cartridges work, because I've got two or three of these Geha pens that use them. So, anyway, uh, if you notice a different camera angle, I just want to mention I had a, I did a Q&A, and the regular camera has fallen over and broken, so it's out for service right now, so... In the meantime, we'll be recording the me part of these videos on a cell phone. So, I can't wait till that thing gets fixed and I get it to use it again. <laughs> we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.